Um, you talked, it looked like you talked a little bit about this in class. Do you remember anything about corresponding angles? Anything at all? Um, I remember taking notes on it. Uh, there are they angles okay. like the same? So, so yeah, they're congruent. So angle one and angle five are corresponding. And the yeah. way I way I try to explain this to my students is, let's say you go into a classroom and you can sit wherever you want, and you choose to sit front left, and then you go into another classroom and you also choose to sit front left. Like we tend to sit in the same spot wherever we are, uh, relative. Mm -hmm relatively speaking. So like one and five are top left or front left, angle two and angle six, they are like front right, you could say. Okay. Like front right, front right or top right. Angle four is congruent to angle eight. And then angle uh, three is congruent to angle seven. So those are corresponding angles. What you have to remember is that corresponding angles are right. Is that something does that look sounding familiar what you did in class? Yeah, it does. It does, yeah. You want to get this down if you can. I mean, I don't I expect am, you yeah. to draw this, but um, you, you know, th this is really important. Like everything today is about definitions. Yeah, okay. So let me know if you need another moment. Otherwise, we'll move on to alternate interior angles. Yeah, give me like two seconds, please. Okay. All right, I'm good now. Thanks. <clears throat> All right. So the next, I'm going to use the same picture. And now we're going to talk about what are called alternate interior angles. Before we do that, though, we're going to talk about what you're actually looking at in this picture. The, there's this region called the interior region. This is the exterior. This is the exterior. And then there's sides. This is a side. And then this is a side. The sides are broken apart by the transversal. Yeah. So there's a lot there. I know this got real messy. I'm going to clean it up in a moment. But when it yeah. says alternate, the word alternate or alternate refers to the transversal. It okay. means one, one on each side. Okay. And then interior literally means interior. Okay. So let's, let's just reset this picture here. And we'll talk about alternate interior angles again. Um, so it has to be in the interior. So it has to be this region right here. Mm -hmm. And they have to alternate over the transversal. So one on either side. So angle four is congruent to angle six. Angle three is congruent to angle, angle five. So the words have to tell you something now. You have to say, okay, alternate means one on either side of the transversal. Interior means literally they are in the interior. Okay. And alternate interior angles are congruent. They're okay. They're congruent. Is that okay now? Yep, that's good. That's cool. All right, we're going to move down to the next grouping. <clears throat> next grouping is uh, alternate exterior angles. Just like before, alternate means they have to be on opposite sides of the transversal. So one on the left side of the transversal, one on the right, they have to be in the exterior. So we're not looking in here. We're not looking in this region. We're looking top and bottom. So okay. angle one is congruent to angle seven. Okay. Angle two is congruent okay. to angle eight. And again, that alternate tells you that you've got one on each side of the transversal. Okay. So... All right. Okay. You, you good on that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now the next one, and you probably already saw this in class. I'm going to draw it like this. This is the X, one, two, three, and four. Do you remember what kind of angles these are? Uh, those are, oh my gosh, I know what they are. They're vertical angles. Vertical angles, and they are congruent as well. Yeah. Vertical angles. I, so I that's... 360, right? Uh, yes, in this case, they do, yeah. And then angle two is congruent to angle four. Vertical angles are congruent. 
So this ends the angles being congruent. So everything, the next things I'm going to show you, they are no longer congruent. They add up to something. Okay. All right. So they're going to go back and grab this picture again. The first ones are called same side interior. Okay. Okay. So yeah. they're in the interior. So that's this region right here. Mm -hmm. Same yeah. side refers to the transversal. They're on the same side of the transversal. The name tells you what it is. Yeah. Okay. So, so measure of angle four plus measure of angle five equals 180. Four and five are on the same side of the transversal. Their angle measures add up to 180. They're no longer congruent. That's the big thing here. No longer congruent. They now add up to something. Okay. Measure of angle three plus measure of angle six also equals 180. Okay. There's one more. Then, we're, then, we're, uh, then we can get on to some problems. But um, these definitions are super critical, super critical for you doing well in this part of the course. Um, do you, uh, can I keep going here? Do you, do you want? No, yeah, yeah, keep going. Okay, yeah. All right. So the next one is same side exterior. Okay. Exterior, so we no longer top, correct? Top and bottom. Yeah. Okay. So it, it's measure of angle one plus measure of angle eight. You yeah. can see how one and eight are on the same side of. And, the and whenever they're asking for like the two angle measures, it's on the same side. So it wouldn't be like one and seven, it'd be one and eight. Well, one and seven is alternate exterior. Okay. So if they ask for alternate exterior, it's on the opposite side. But yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's that's the whole point of what we're doing is, is you have to have like a cheat sheet so that you know what the angles are. Yeah. Um, you have to be able to look at your list. And you might think, oh, I got that, no big deal. But but I'm going to show you how they can make it so that you, you know, you're you not sure mm -hmm. uh, at least to start. <clears throat> So same side exterior, they're both in the exterior. They're both on the same side of the transversal. They add 180. Okay, got it. And I've mentioned this, you know, just to summarize here, when, when you have two angles, they are either congruent or they add up to something. All right. And right now that something is, is 180. So what's more important than anything else today is not the not the algebra, not the solving. It's knowing which of these angles it is. And I mean, like, okay, they're corresponding. They're alternate interior, alternate okay. ext alternate exterior. They're vertical, same side interior, same side exterior. That's what matters today. Mm -hmm. Okay. And 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 just to illustrate that point and a couple of examples here, uh, problems I'm going to do. Like, I'm going to give you the answer. That's not what's important. All right. All right. So, so this one says to uh, solve for the measure of angle HJK. I'm going to tell you it's 142 degrees. What is more important is why, meaning what are those angles? Why are they congruent? Which yeah. of those ones did we look through? Um. First of all, would there be... Uh... Wait, what's it called? There's four like angles. And then... okay, so here's the, right. the info they're giving you. They got this right here, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and the K would one. be 142, right? Well, when you have two parallel lines and one line intersects it, those will always be the same. Yeah. And the opposite side of it, and that will always add up to 180. Yeah. So, so we're, we're trying to figure out why are the ones in red the same? Oh, okay. Yeah. They're this, or J and K. That's fine, too. Like, it really doesn't matter. Um, yeah. they're, they're the same thing. Why are they the same? Which of these four that we went through, or th yeah, are they corresponding? Are they alternate interior? Are they alternate exterior? Are they vertical angle? Like, that's what I'm looking for from you today to kind of think about. What I've never been able to find is like a really good reference sheet that's got all of these in it. Yeah. But 
you 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 got to decide to go through your checklist like are they corresponding it would be an exterior interior or exterior right or so one so one of the things you you if we go back up to corresponding one in five for example one is in the exterior oh, five is okay, the interior. Yeah, so corresponding corresponding so right. corresponding means congruent or well they, no it doesn't mean congruent but they are congruent first. they are congruent but it's like one is in the rather than saying same side transversal exterior and interior. They we right. we've gotten it down to corresponding. Corresponding. So corresponding is same place in a in a different. All right. I just place. yeah. I need to get that corresponding done. But, yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. So. So I I Matt, Remy should identify this. This idea is yeah. like parallel lines crossed by any one other line. You're going to have these same relationships um, on the on the two parallel lines. That's right. So the the answer here is corresponding, okay. corresponding angles, and that's 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 more important than the 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 number because the number ends up only being a couple of possibilities. It's not. Yeah. It's yeah. It, it, you, there is some solving, but it's not. It's more important that you recognize. I see that's corresponding. What they are. Yeah. Okay. So here is, again, kind of the same idea. Um, I'm going to give you the answer. I'm going to tell you that the measure of angle three is 111 degrees. But what I want to know is why. What's the reason? You know, which of those four that we went through? The... So if, so if you're not sure which one is like, tell me, use words it, like or, interior, exterior. Could it be alter, uh, alternate interior? Or, yes, yes. Yeah, okay. All right, so let's uh, let's look at another one here. That'd be uh, why are why are these the same? I'm gonna be right back with you. I apologize. Very good. Okay, those are uh, the corresponding. Yes. And those are the same also. So that would be one thirty eight is S. And what would X be? Actually, one thirty eight, right? Perfect. Why? Because they're all right. I'm back here. What what kind of angles are these? Okay, those are corresponding angles. Yes, right. they're corresponding. Very good. Yeah. All right. Okay, so let me see if I can find a few more of these, and then we'll get some solving as well. Um, now, one of the things that like they I don't know if you saw this in class, but the lines could go up and down. Yeah. So like one and two now, what kind of angles are they? And and I, because it's on a screen, I know you can't do this, but if this were in, in you person, you'd want, to, yeah. you'd want to rotate your paper. Yeah. But the middle part still the interior. This is the exterior, exterior. Um, it would be... Would it be alternate exterior or... Yes, exactly. Okay, very good. So uh, we'll, we're we're going to do a few more of those, but we're going to now transition to the the solving part of it. Okay. Okay. So let's uh, let's take a let's take a look here at uh, this problem here. And sometimes it's not it's not that easy to figure out which angles they're referring to, but we'll try to try to help here. Um, it's this one and and this one. And if you're ever unsure, go ask your teacher. Say, you know, it's these two, and maybe they'll maybe they'll tell you. Um, so, what do you know about these two angles? Are they congruent? Do they add up to something? What do you know about? Well, they look like they're ninety degrees. I'm not sure if they. No, are. no, no. We, we we can't we can't make that. That's a okay. big jump. Are they are they corresponding? Are they alternate interior, alternate exterior, or vertical angles? Uh, they are. They're corresponding. They're corresponding. Good. Okay. That means they're congruent. 
That means you can set the equations equal to each other. Okay. So could you solve for, for us, please? Yeah. If you're not sure, you know, please ask, you know, if you have any questions here, but um, forget about the drawing, just work on the equation. Okay. And it's just that equation, 3x plus 23 equals 4x? Yes, because the angles are equal, you can set them equal to each other. What does that say? What does it say? 23 divided by 1. 1x. All right, so x equals 23. Yeah, very good. So the the that's that's part one. Like sometimes they want you to solve for x. I think we even did that in some problems uh, last week or the week before. The second thing is they could actually say, well, what what's the actual angle measure? And then yeah. that's where you have to put the result back in. So it's like it's like uh, four times twenty-three. What does that equal? And then the other one was three times twenty-three plus twenty-three. You know, and 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 they you should get the same result because they're congruent. Yeah. All right. So it's up to you if you. Uh, I just do whatever one I want to solve, or wait. You can. But they should be the same. That is, so you can do either one, and and it should be the same because they're congruent. But your check would be. Uh, you know, getting the same result for each of them. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's look at another one here. All right. So uh, this time, the angles they're referring to is kind of up here, five y, and then down here is two y plus seventy eight. Okay. Um, those two, do you want me to tell you what angles there are? Well, I want you to tell me if they're congruent or, and why, like, what is the reasoning that they would be congruent from what we were doing earlier? Uh, the, the reasoning they'd be congruent is just, I just kind of like, they both have this circle marking on them. Like no, the, it's gotta be one of those four that we talked about earlier, corresponding, ultra oh, interior, okay. ultra exterior, vertical angles. It has um, to be one of those. It's it's because they're they're alternate interior angles. Yes, yes, alternate interior angles, and they are congruent. Yeah. Okay. So that means five y equals two y plus seventy eight. Okay. Do you want me to solve that? Yeah. Why don't you solve that for uh, y, please? Good. Would you combine like terms on this? Five. And you can. You would if they're on the same side. Since they're on different sides, you just move the y term. Okay, got it. Okay, I got x or y equals twenty six. Okay, very good. Now, if you wanted the angle measure, like let's say it wanted the measure of angle W, X, Z. Mm -hmm. Is that 5Y or is that 2Y plus 78? Uh, that's both of them. The middle, well, it could be both, but, but the middle letter tells you the vertex. Okay. And the vertex is 5Y? So this would be 5y or 5 times 26. So you could calculate that if 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 that was, you know, was wanted. Okay. All right. So here's a actually make up the next one here. Okay, what type of angles are these? These are 
So these are alternate exterior angles. Alternate exterior. Are they congruent or do they add up to something? They're congruent. Congruent. So now you set the two equations equal to each other. I want you to solve for X, please. Yep. Yeah, I got negative or negative twelve. X equals negative twelve. Or sorry, uh, it's, sorry, it's wait, 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 definitely wait, wait. a po it's definitely a positive number. So try that one more time. Oh, yeah, I didn't do that right. Hold on. The plus the two is negative. So that'd be thirty-two. I got it. Thirty-two. 32. Okay, wait. Would it just be positive 12? Yeah. Okay. So positive 12, X equals 12. Yeah, that, that sounds better to me. X is, is yeah. 12. Now, if I wanted one of the angle measures, you would have to put 12 back in for X. Yeah. Uh, okay. And okay. Since they're congruent, again, like we should get the same thing. 8 times 12 minus 34. What is that equal? What is 5 times 12? What did I say? Plus 2. You know, are these the same? And uh, they they end up being the same. So that's kind of your check is to make sure uh, that they're the same. So let's let's see if we can quickly do one more here. Okay. Um, what kind of angles are these in this picture? Which ones are just all of them? Or well, the ones that are given here. Oh, oh. Um, those Good are question. Uh... yeah. <laughs> Those are corresponding. And are they congruent or do they add up to something? They're congruent. Okay, so you set them equal to each other. Will you solve for X, please? Actually, this one doesn't work out nicely. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, that's okay. Uh, sometimes you do get fractions. I'm going to solve it here for you. Um, you end up getting 15 over 2 or 7.5. Which... Yeah. Okay. It's okay, because when you put that back in here, uh, 10 times 7.5 is 75 degrees. That's okay. Yeah. And then this one, 2 times 7.5 plus 60 <laughs> is also 75 degrees. And that's okay. your check. That's how you know, hey, I did okay. I got it down. Got it. All right. We do got to stop there for today.